All right, what is up everybody? Welcome. I am back with another video uh, with our game animation sample tutorials. What we have so far is this nice little attack combo with the sword and we will see where this these videos go, but let's just keep adding stuff. I got some requests in the first videos, so we're going to add a simple sword overlay because you see we're now using the normal running animations. We will also probably do some input buffering because I need to like spam this and there's no actual input buffering uh, when I attack so if I miss the window it's not gonna attack so we'll probably add that as well uh, so let's go in order this is one of those things that is a little bit annoying to make with this though, because if we update, uh, there's no way for us to like really make this modular. I guess we could make a linked animation blueprint though, maybe. Uh, let's see. Because when we update this, we're gonna need to replace this animation blueprint and we don't wanna uh, like copy paste from the old one. We can't do that, it's just tedious. Uh, but in order for us to uh, to add a overlay, let's just make it simple for now. Uh, if you open the animation blueprint and we go to layered blend per bone. So basically, we want to blend an animation over the right arm uh, or maybe the spine to play another animation in place of the um, normal running one for that part. So from here, see I split before the default slot and from here I need to save this post. So I'm going to do layered... Uh, no, sorry. New cached post. New cached post. Uh, we're gonna call this final locomotion. Or before IK. Oh, this is IK, I believe. Then we're gonna grab that one. So before IK use cache post before IK. That is now the base post. Then we need to input what we want to blend with here. And just to show you, we are gonna make a animation. Don't even know where the animations here are. Maybe in there. Probably an idle animation. Played around with a gun animation here before. I'm gonna find an idle one. This one is probably good. Make a new folder here called overlay. Actually, I'm not gonna make it here. I'm gonna make it in the components. Overlay. Uh, call it S underscore sword pose, and I will open it up. Drag it. Oops, I took the outliner, it seems like. There we go. Ah. There we go. And let's grab a pose here. I'm just gonna go to the first frame. I'm gonna right click. Remove from frame 1 to 160. So that means we just have a simple pose here. And I'm gonna remove all curves because we don't need any curves for this. 
and I'm gonna take the right arm, upper arm right, and this animation is not moving. So if we just if we just take this animation now, put it here, and then on this layer blend per bone, we're gonna go to the layer setup index. We're gonna add to the branch filters and we need to name the bone and in this case I'm gonna do upper arm right let's just see how that looks I have no idea how that looks yeah you can see that stopped moving the arm because it's now blending with the upper arm with this animation upper arm right so I'm gonna play around a little bit I don't know the values that looks nice let's do 0 0.8 there I mean I guess that looks okay let's open the sword let's play around a little bit with how this looks maybe out a little bit and then we can save the keyframe gonna take the hand rotate it out a little bit and keyframe that as well actually let's go into our animation and do clavicle right which is up here so we blend a little bit further down that looks a little bit more natural I think that already might be quite good. I mean, you have to play around with this. It's not horrible. Um, I'm gonna take the hand right and rotate it out quite a lot more. And there we go. not horrible it's all right yeah, I'm just gonna go with that for now for the video and then uh, we can you can fine-tune your own and I'll might fine-tune mine between videos but that's looking quite all right so now we need a way to actually change this at runtime because we don't want this to be on there all the time let me just see how it looks with one S blend all right I'm gonna keep 0 0.8 mm, all right so now we need a way to actually blend this uh, so to do that we need to go into our components animation I'm gonna add a new enumeration here called E underscore animation overlay. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna add none and sword. And See, the issue here with this now is we need to change stuff in the animation blueprint so when we update to a newer version of this we need to do this again it's not the end of the world it's just not ideal um, animation overlay call this variable current animation overlay oh, let's just call it animation overlay anim overlay there we go I want to get this if you search for blend anim overlay get this enumeration enumerator we made so 
So the default pose will just be before IK. And then we right click on this and add a sword post. And then we plug this into the sword. We're gonna add another, we're gonna drag from here and do save new cache post. this animation overlay and then plug this use cache post animation overlay in there can I move this this here all right Now we need to add a interface to be able to change that. So go to blueprint interface, call it bi animation, anim pp. And call set animation overlay. And the input will be animation overlay. new animation overlay so if we now go to the event graph here we can add that interface now we actually need to add the interface so go to class settings implemented interfaces uh, bi anim blueprint call set animation event call set animation blueprint. I just like to name mine call as prefix so I know what's interface events and what's n normal events. You name it whatever you want to. There we go. So now we have a way to actually change the overlay at runtime. So now we just need to implement the functionality to do that. So if we open AC combat server equip weapon make a new variable called called animation overlay because we need to replicate that as well so in order to replicate it uh, where it's not enough to just set this as a replicated variable and it's also not a good idea to multicast it so we need to use the rep notify which is the proper way to replicate this because if you just change you could multicast it but if you multicast the change it's only gonna happen for relevant clients at that point so you want the change to be persistent even if, if people connect to the game after you changed uh, to the sword in this case uh, and this is uh, rep notifiers also need to run on the server and this event is already on the server so that is fine um, so we will drag this out make some room and Add a variable to our item. Call 
called weapon type. We'll call it weapon overlay. So now in here we can go and drag from the weapon overlay and set the actual overlay. So now we just need to make sure that the sword is actually sword. And by default this is none. So you can see I am running around. And as soon as I equip the sword nothing happens. Classic. Uh, that is because I didn't actually set the notifier up. So the notifier is connected to a function called onrep animation overlay. So we actually need to change the functionality or make the functionality to to uh, change the variable in the animation blueprint. So if we go to we grab our own in character variable that we already have, and that is a character, so we can get the mesh. We can from the mesh get anim instance. So now we have the animation instance, which is going to be the AVP sandbox character in this case. But we don't need to cast to that one since we already made our interface. So we can just do call set animation overlay. And the rep notifier will replicate this function as long as it's running on the server and it the value actually changed. So we can do like that. And we're setting the new animation overlay here to sword, which means this will be sword when this function is called and replicated. There we go. All right, looking good. Sweet. Cool. Uh, let's make sure it replicates. It does. Everything is still replicated. Lagging a lot because I think I have network lag simulation enabled on a lot. But that looks good. It seems to be working. Cool. That's gonna be it for this one. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.